<laughs> okay, okay. Now, okay, now, okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Kate Kell's first uh, change. You're a break, bro. On my knees, Kiss! On my Nothing. knees! Alright. But yeah, man. Hypersensitivity, bro. Uh, what? You think everybody's too sensitive nowadays? Oh, I don't you. <laughs> Do you know what? Like, I think, I think we just, I think part of the reason is ethnic minorities made oppression look cool. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon? Everyone wants to it was, say it. It was man. something me and another comedian friend was talking about. Ola, he was just, like, he was saying black people made it cool. But I just think all ethnic minorities just made it look cool. Like, you know, it's like there's certain words you can say and other people can't say. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? People start going, hey, this is, this looks like fun, man. Being oppressed looks like fun. So now, People are finding any little thing to separate themselves with. So it's like, yo, I only wash myself on Wednesdays. <laughs> you telling me to shower is is really uh, offensive to me because I only shower on Wednesdays. I think it's a human rights violation trying to make yeah. me shower more than once. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, it's just it's just people. And do you know what? What I've realised about a lot of the stuff you see because most of the outrage you see is on Twitter, right? Oh, and the Twitterverse. Yeah, yeah but. But once you actually turn off your phone, or you turn off your 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 internet connection, or go outside into the real world, mm. nobody really gives it that. Mm. Like nobody nobody knows what that hashtag is. Like all of these hashtags that people act like affect them. Sure. Um, doesn't really matter to be honest with you. Like in the real world, it's not affecting people's lives. People are going to work on a daily basis and whatever. They don't really care about the majority of things. They don't. Huh. It's like, for example. A lot of words that we see, things like, like people people use words like cisgender and um, mm. um, you know like there, there's lots of vegan tweets and all of this sort of stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm being I'm being genuinely serious. And if you would if you were if you were to judge the world by Twitter, you think everybody knows what these yeah. things mean? Well, the problem is with Twitter, about? the more the more things that you see is literally the more things that you bloody see. So if you follow loads of people that talk about this, um, this kind of stuff, then you get lulled into like a full sense of thinking what's real and what's not. Like for instance, look at that, um, the cancer research thing that's um, come up, Yeah. the new ad. Yeah. Like from Twitter, it makes you think that everyone's going mental over yeah, it. Yeah, exactly, like, but nobody, that's what I'm saying. But, but then outside cares. of Twitter, I don't nobody think, cares. I don't nobody think anyone cares. cares nobody but cares. But it's like, on Twitter, it's fun to argue against facts these days. Oh, bro, that's what I'm saying. I think in society now, it's like popular opinion uh, like the, is the new facts. Do you know what I mean? If I get enough retweets, that's all that matters. Like, like forget science. Do you know what I mean? All I need to do is get a few retweets. I and honestly all of a sudden, think, though, I honestly think, though, a lot of people, a lot of people, be it entertainers, Instagram stars or whatever, yeah. they're using these things just to gain a following and garner a following. Using it as publicity. Do a lot of people care about actual social issues? I, I, I highly doubt it. It's like mm. why I hate when people call. Me. It's why I hate when people call people like um, uh, musicians and rappers and stuff like that activists. Because I'm like activists are actually out there doing stuff and they're 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 really sacrificing their lives. Like activists aren't using sure. activists aren't using um, a cause. One more. For their own benefit. Well, no, I've got a thing in anyway, so. Yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Bye>, cheeky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, I hear you. But like, for instance, like I'm not even gonna name her yeah, because I don't want to give her any publicity. Do you know what I mean? Because she said she's writing a book and I want it to fail. So. <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest. You know what I'm saying? I'm petty, man. I'm team petty all day, and all this nonsense coming out saying yeah that the advert is fat shaming because cancer research have come out and said the second second highest preventable cause of cancer is obesity bro yeah like what part of that is fat shaming bro i well, don't I mean, understand it's not, i mean first of all there's a difference between fat being fat and being obese you know which a lot of people don't understand yeah there's I, a very big difference i used to be fat right and personally i think fat shame is a good thing <laughs> in what sense because i was fat like we shame people for, for like Think about your the the way we even raise kids. Like you tell them not to do certain things, and the way you do it is you shame them for it, right? Yeah. So if they like, I don't know, man. Uh, if a, if a kid's trying to walk across the road without you holding your hand, you're like, what are you doing? Kind of thing. You're shaming them essentially. Yeah, in a right? way. In a way. 
But we shame people for being broke, we shame people for being lazy, we, we shame people for, we do. for all sorts of things. But it's like, being, being overweight isn't healthy. Um, the people that are fat shaming me were like my parents. Yeah, but there's a difference between being overweight and being obese. Yeah. When you're obese, but I was like a forty inch waist man. Like I was, yeah. I was like, like my sweat was crying. <laughs> like it was, it was that that ridiculous, right? But um, I think, I think for us to say that, you know, like oh, people, people that are overweight aren't at risk of certain diseases is a lie. But of course it's a lie. That's why it's not shaming. It's not just it's not just um, health like as in like inside like your knees, your hips, all of that sort of stuff. I still got issues from when I was overweight, like through certain things. So for you to just start saying, "Oh yeah, don't hurt my feelings," like I stop eating cheeseburgers, isn't it? But that's it because my thing is like she's saying, "Oh, there's she's trying to talk about BMIs and all this nonsense." And talk about mental health. You know health. when people say, all right, you're good. You know when people say, you know when people say BMI is outdated, right? Yeah. I always laugh at that because I'm like, BMI is outdated if you're a bodybuilder. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. If you if you're an athlete, yeah. then if it you're does. An athlete, then boom. Yeah, like you go to the gym regularly, you do weight training. Yeah. BMI is outdated, but if you're the kind of person that's that doesn't go to the gym, you're not working out. BMI, BMI is accurate enough. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what I'm like, big man thing, if you're obese, I don't need a tape measure and a scale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, bro. I don't need the calipers. You know what I mean? I don't yeah, need yeah, any of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's like saying um, weight scales aren't accurate. They're accurate to a certain degree, They're bro. Accurate, you yeah. can get four different scales and stand on them. They'll all be different, but they'll be close enough. Yeah, exactly. You know them ones? They're not going to tell you you're seven stone overweight. But people are going to start saying, though, weight, weights doesn't... What's it? Scales don't really matter. Yeah, well, that's it. Scales it doesn't don't matter. really matter. Scales, scales aren't an accurate representation of what's going on in your body. But it's like, who's, who really has the money to be going out and doing a body fat percentage test Bro, every two weeks? And it's not even that, because the thing is, your body needs a certain amount of fat on it just to um, just to do every daily functions that you need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? I get two shots. Man, I take those two shots. We got that. We got that on camera, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But yeah, um, the worst thing is, yeah, like, you need that fat, but, but like, being obese is having excess amount of fat to the point where normal bodily functions and even everyday things, I mean, I get, I get, are just a struggle, bro. I get why people, why people want to be, uh, why people are up in arms in a sense, right, because, I mean, this is the stuff I was working on on stage, but like, when you're fat or ugly, people don't give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> no, 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 they don't, because I've experienced it, right? When, when, like, say you do anything... I don't know, more, I think if you're fat no, or no, ugly as a comedian, you, actually, you do better. No, 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 well, not anymore. So, you, know, <laughs> but, you know, like, if you do anything wrong while you're fat or ugly, yeah. people blame it on your weight. <laughs> yeah. like, it, it's true though, like, like say, say, say I lose this, oh, you're so shit, you fat shit. Like, <laughs> no, but that's, it's the way it is, like, oh, he's... he's What's it? You can't even play football. It's like, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? It's anything. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, why can't he speed up, fat shit? Yeah, you know, it's, it's true. everything, right? It's, so I get that. I mean, that aspect of it needs to change. But the thing right? is, there was nothing of that nature in the poster. What it was can, just, yeah, it was just a bit of factual information, bro. Because my thing is, yeah, like, it's a fact. That's not two shots. Again. It's an absolute fact. And the thing is, yeah, they've done a similar thing with the cigarettes and the smoking. Remember the adverts? The adverts freak man out when you see cholesterol falling out of man's eyes and his ears yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smokers didn't come out and say, you know what? It's like, stop shaming. doing this to our cigarettes, you're smoke, smoke shaming. shaming. They didn't care. They were like, listen, yeah, I need my nicotine fix. I don't care. I'm buying the thing, bro. But do you know what? I think more of humanity needs to look at smokers and um, use, act like smokers. Smokers are the most united group of people in the world. Trust me, fam. Their no, but she, their she's version, trying to make no, their uh, version of a united, world. obese nation, bro. And the thing is, that's not healthy. Do you know what I'm saying? Man are talking about how much the NHS are struggling, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, what? You're not even doing yourself any favours health-wise. It's not just obesity and, and cancer, bro. Like, even as... If she's trying to say, yeah, that she's all for, like, female empowerment and stuff like that, bro. Obesity... Especially as a female, like it affects you in all the ways it affects men, whether it's diabetes or high blood pressure or all of these things, yeah. But also in terms of fertility, it's but a I problem. Think, I think and in terms of like your likelihood to miscarry and that, 
It's also a problem, bro. Let's not even talk see... about the kneecaps. Bro, I, see, I think what we see nowadays, though, is people want to bring up the anomalies in any sort of situation and use it as, like, um, the basis to make a judgment on the majority. Yeah. Some people will say to you, like, oh, all fat people aren't lazy. Some people are genetically predisposed to it, this, that, the other, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But it's like, okay, but the amount of people, if we look at what's going on now, like obesity is a bigger problem than starvation in the world, right? Well, there you go. Yeah, so, so the, every, all of those people aren't genetically predisposed to, to be in it. And then people bring up psychological issues. Well, and they say, oh, it's mental health that's, and that's that. Not, that's not an issue. That, like, that's an issue that we need to look at. If it is a psychological thing and people are comfort eating or whatever and it needs to be... Yeah, we need to look at those know. things. Yeah, but man can say, oh, I'm... But man can say, oh, I'm comfort yeah. smoking. That, bro, cancer, <laughs> cancer yeah. don't discriminate, you know? Yeah, Can, yeah. Cancer's not going to be like, you know what? She's obese, but you know what? Because she comfort eats you and she's upset, I'm not going to kill her. Cancer don't work like that, yeah, no, of course. Do you know what I mean? So we can't be precious about shit like that. You know what I mean? We just have to give people... Like the truth, exactly how the fuck it is, and that's it. Like we, we can't be dealing with this nonsense, bro. If we're precious yeah. about every little thing and hurting everyone's cancer feelings, cancer does not care about your man, feelings. Bro. But there you go, cancer don't care about your feelings, and facts don't care about your but feelings you know either. My, my whole thing is like, you know what? If if I I couldn't care less if you if you if you're fat and you're happy with it. If you're happy with it, good for you. But the and, and I, do you know what? I'll support you in your decision to to continue being fat, but. At the same time, don't ignore the consequences of of what that does to you. As but that's what I mean. It's irresponsible way. for a person with any sort of influence Ooh. to say to your followers, "Ah, oh, you know what? It's cool. It doesn't matter. Don't listen to cancer research, bro." Like if you were happy, if but you were I mean, genuine, imagine being so woke. Cancer research is your enemy. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> bro. You're so woke. Like now you're going up against scientists. That are trying to save lives. These men are spending hundreds of millions each year, but you know better. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. The thing is, if you were really, really happy with how you were, you wouldn't have taken it as a send for you, blood. You know when you post something on social media and someone that's done you dirty thinks you're talking about them? That's exactly what it is. Like, if you weren't feeling a certain way about this, about the topic here, yeah, you wouldn't have seen it as a send, because no one called you flat. The advert didn't say obesity. Well, like I said to Obesity you, is the number one cause of being single I in the UK that. or something. That would have been fat shaming, black. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, you know what I'm saying? Course, yeah. Like, man gave you a factual, scientific, like, statistic, and you're trying to make it about something else, bro. But it's, it's, it's like I said, man, it's a lot of people use these issues nowadays and, and, and latch onto them. Because it does provide them with um, publicity and a fan base in order to sell tickets to whatever it is that they want to do or to sell a particular product they want to do. You see it all the time with Instagram influencers and whatever. Mm -hmm. when, this, when this whole culture of being woke or being aware of certain issues ends, you're going to see a lot of people go back to just posting about Love Island and, yeah, and all that's that it. Sort of stuff like that. Yeah. It's, it's only momentary. And, and when the backlash happens as well on these people, um, they'll sort of they'll sort of end up writing about um, how they changed and how they're. <laughs> how, do you know what I mean? There'll be a long post on Instagram like I used to be part of this kind of group. I used to be I full realized, of shit. I realized it was wrong, and now I've changed my ways. And then they'll get like another couple of thousand followers and, and appeal to the right wing. Yeah, so it's, it's just, bullshit, isn't it? Yeah. Like I just think that the, the whole scenario is just very irresponsible. And it's just, it's just stupid, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, I think people need to stop, stop thinking that they know better, and we need to stop worrying about people's bloody feelings. Well, I mean, it's the whole polarizing effect that we've got nowadays in society as well. It's like, um, you're either one, you're either to to one side or the other, and if you're one side, people go, oh, like, say, say you just, you just don't agree with something someone says on the left. Or on the right, mm. it's like, oh, you're a left wing communist, or <laughs> oh my god, you're a right wing nut, and it's like, no, like, actually, like, there's, there's, I'm just a reasonable person that looks at both sides of the coin, and there's things I agree with um, over here, and there's things I agree with over there, but you know, but there's just excuses, bro. Like, I heard someone say to me, someone said to me, yeah, one oh, person said, that, one person said mental health, the other person said poverty, bro. I said, listen, man, them that experience in real poverty are skinny, blood. 
You know what I'm saying? Because they're not eating, cuz. I mean, you know, them one's there. This is another thing, right? How, if you look at the people that are on Twitter, essentially, for you to have access to Twitter at your beck and call, you are a privileged person. But that's it, though. So, if, if, if we're looking at Twitter to gauge who's the most privileged in society, essentially, yeah. it's just a hierarchy of privileged people talking but about who's the most... most but that's what I'm saying. Depressing. On a level, in, in the UK, you can be broke here and have an iPad and an iPhone. So, you know what I'm saying? You can't tell me, the woman said, oh yeah, um, man are fat because they're poor. I was like, no, bruv, real poverty, these men don't eat, blood. Well, I mean, and they're not having women's There's because relative chips. Chicken chips is, 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 cheap, is cheaper than, than going out and buying milk. But it's not cheaper than cooking. Have you ever well, been there to... There you go, it's not cheaper than cooking. These men are lazy. Like Bill the other Burr, day... Bill Burr, Bill Burr is a comedian, he's got a joke. He's like, have you ever been to a supermarket? They're trying to throw the vegetables at you. Bruv, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Listen, the other day, I literally went on my um, Instagram story and I said, what, you think it's cheap to eat healthy, yeah? I'm bopping down the road. I was like, yeah, I'm hungry. I grabbed two apples, yeah, for 45p. How much is a chocolate bar? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But talk, but these men are talking people, nonsense, but again, it's for people, it's the way, it's, the, it's, it's again, it's the, the educational factor of it as well. But people, sometimes, man, people just like eating a chocolate bar. It makes them feel good. It's yeah, but bro, it's cool, but it's, it's discipline. It's discipline as well, bro. Discipline is doing stuff that you don't want to do, because like, you know it's good for you, fam. And that's what That's a very good point. I think, I think a lot of people... Um, don't want to do, don't want to come out. Of they just stuff. don't they want, want to. Come out of a comfort zone, no? Do you know Absolutely. what I mean? Them man will say, I can't do this, I can't do that. They'll blame genetics, they'll blame stress, they'll blame all these things, bruv. Listen, everyone's fighting their own battles. You think you're the only stressed person in the whole of London, bruv? Everyone in London is stressed <laughs> to a degree, bruv. Like. Do you know what I'm saying? Have you ever tried commuting? But there oh, you go. There's not one happy person on the underground, bruv. <laughs> At, at 7 30, 8 o'clock. There's no one happy. He's still, he's still gonna touch. Oh, it's not. Shit. Bruv, there's no happy people on there, bruv. Man are stepping on your shoes, you're smelling morning breath. Certain men have not showered, bruv. I don't care. Do you know what I'm saying? You just know you're not supposed to smell at these times. How are you smelling before lunch? <laughs> know what I'm saying? So, nah, there you go, you really and truly, it's, it's an absolute joke, bruv. How are you smelling before lunch, fam? It's, so, it is all mad. It is all mad. So, really and truly, nobody's happy. Everyone's in. Everyone's got like mental health issues to some extent, do you know what I mean? You can't blame that for every single obese person, like.